In this video, we will explain how to monitor Windows systems with the Devo Windows Agent. In addition, we will also see how Devo organizes these logs and distributes them automatically into their appropriate tables. Finally, you will learn how to activate the system monitoring application to evaluate the activity of the Windows systems and configure alerts. First, it is necessary to install Devo Windows Agents, which is a set of services to monitor Windows machines and send logs from systems, servers, and applications running on Windows to Devo. To do this, go to the web and type in www.devo.com. Once you are on the site, go to Docs in the resource area. Search Windows and select Sending from Windows Operation Systems. We recommend reviewing the related documentation to familiarize yourself with available options. Now it's time to download the EU Windows Agent. You will find it here. We chose EU because we created the domain in the European Union. Once installed, the services configuration windows will open. Configure Proxy Server Container first. This service handles the secure connection with the Devo Cloud. The default values shown here are correct to securely send data to Devo through port 443. To send through a relay, put the relay IP as the endpoint and specify port 13000. When using relays, it is important to uncheck the Sending Secure box. The most important action is to set the certificates. Here we will add the account credentials. So go to the Administration Credentials area and copy the API key and the API secret. After adding the certificates, select the account and then click the Next button. The Next window allows you to configure the Magic Event service. This service sends system logs to Devo. We won't use that in this video, so accept the default values and go to the next step. The next screen is used to configure the Magic Log service. This sends events and logs from any service, application, or server that runs on Windows systems. We're not going to configure it either. Finally, we need to turn on the Proxy Server Container and Monitor Service Services. We are now monitoring our machine. Now let's go to the Devo web application. Remember we are sending logs to the demo underscore tutorial domain. In data search, you will see the monitoring logs uploaded by Windows Agent in the tables box.stat.win. Open the main one, box.stat.win.dstat-it1 which receives information about processes, disk transactions, memory and processor use every 60 seconds. We can now do filtering, grouping, or set alerts as we would in any other table. Finally, let's look at another application available to do this, Systems Monitoring. It can be activated in the Administration Applications Gallery. Open the application. Here we see all the machines being monitored by Devo agents. We'll see only one, but Devo can handle machines of any kind, identifying them by name and label. Now click the icon Show Graph to see the main graphs and click Details to see all information received. We can see information related to memory, CPU, and disk writes. We can interact with graphs by clicking them, change the time range and period, and zoom in by dragging the mouse as you can do with all Devo line charts. You can also generate alerts by clicking New Alert and subscribing to a predefined alert. You can configure the conditions for each alert and set the alert context, for example, CPU, memory, disk, and event flow. For instance, we can set an alert that checks every minute if there is a peak of memory use that exceeds 50% of capacity. After a moment, you can watch the generated alerts in Alerts. Click Detailed Information to see if this alert has been generated because there was a memory peak. Going back to Applications, we can set all the alerts we want. Click Alert Subscribe to see all configured alerts. You can now delete any alerts created before. See the available memory custom alerts, click Info to see the definition of the alert, and delete it if you want. Thank you for watching this Devo video, and be sure to check out the rest of our exciting videos.